everybody, I'm Ali Mudano and this is Made in Yonkers, where we're taking a look at specialty items created right here in our city of Yonkers. Today we're taking a tour of Yonkers Brewing Company, located at 92 Main Street along the waterfront. But it's not the first brewery at this location. Back in 1860, Dutch Schultz brewed beer to patrons of the Prohibition era. The difference between then and now, this time it's legal. Let's head inside and meet the team behind Yonkers Brewing Co., or as they call themselves, the Brew Crew. Shreve, walk us through the brewing process. It starts right over here. Yeah, so it starts over at the mill, and what we do is we take uh, malted barley, and we uh, crush it so that we can get to the insides, which have all the uh, fun sugars that create food for the yeast to eat. So once uh, the grain is milled, uh, we put it in the middle vessel over here. Okay. Uh, and it's called the mash tun. And what we're doing is it's like we're creating a big porridge. So we mix water at about 150 degrees with the grain. And what that does is it converts the starches into sugars. And that process takes about an hour. After we do that, we want to coax all of that sugar out of the out of the grain. So using the vessel on the far right, uh, we actually rinse. It's a technique called sparging. We sparge the grain and we collect all the runnings in this vessel over here, which is our boil kettle. Okay, it's hot, so we're like so we're hot, boiling. Yeah. It's hot, so yeah, it's, uh, it's boiling at about 212 degrees. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is the hot side of the process, you could say. So this is the cold side of the brewery. And so what happens is after we've boiled the wort and added the hops, uh, we have to start the fermentation process. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll transfer the beer into one of these vessels. Okay. It's called a cylindroconical fermenter because of the cone at the bottom. And um, once we add the yeast, it'll generally take about seven to 10 days to finish fermenting. Uh, this is where we'll carbonate the beer. So uh, there's actually giant carbonation stones in the beer and we'll pump a little bit of CO2 through it. Okay. Just so we can get the carbonation just right for when we serve it at the bar. And let's talk about some of the beers that are served here. You guys operate four different types of Yeast? Yes, so uh, generally uh, we've got a couple different yeast strains uh, roaming around the brewery. Okay. Uh, in the summer we bring in a German wheat strain and a Belgian Saison strain. Okay. Uh, and we always have uh, an American ale strain here, which is the foundation of all of our pale ales, uh, our stouts, and uh, some other beers that we make as well. So John and Nick, why did you want to make beer in Yonkers? We wanted to make beer in Yonkers because it's our hometown. Yeah, we have a long history here. Our grandfathers are from here. And uh, you know, we just wanted to keep it, keep it in the city. And your favorite beer, if you had to pick one? My favorite beer is our Vienna Lager. Yeah, mine's our IPA. I think it's just very drinkable and uh, thrown back. So we've uh, seen how it's made. Should we go see the final product? Yeah, yeah sure. let's go. I'm John. I'm Nick. And we're proud to make beer in Yonkers. 